Hey guys, so I am going to record this one. Um, before I start, I just want to say thank you everyone who has subscribed and um, those of you who always leave sweet comments and everything. Um, thank you. Uh, so... I want to redo this romper with donut fabric. Um, I did follow a sewing pattern, which I'm going to show you how from start to finish. Um, I already know it's going to be a long video. Um, it's not quick. The It's the first time I make this one. I've made rompers before, but this one's... Because it has ruffles, um, it is going to take some time. So, um, just keep watching. Okay, so this is the romp the pattern that I bought. It's, you can see it's a bestseller. Um, and it you can add ruffles to the sleeves, which I didn't add ruffles on this one because mom didn't want ruffles on the sleeves, just on the but um so for this one this one's nobody's like always i'm always making videos that of uh item is for no one but definitely i'm gonna add ruffles to this one here's some more pictures look at that so cute so you can do like a single ruffle around the um, strap or you can do double ruffle. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Look at that. <laughs> it's just too cute. Here's my review. I left the review. Other reviews, people making it. It's so cute. I like it. It is a little pricey though. It is nine dollars for this pattern. But I mean, you can make it over and over and over again. So, and it gives you sizes from newborn all the way to four years. So. Um, I already printed out everything, and let me go right here to the, this is where I have it at. Um, it's right here, so what you're going to do, you're going to download it, you're going to open up, it gives you all of the instructions, materials needed, um, recommended fabric, etc etc you can do it without ruffles with ruffles you can do the diaper with no ruffles or ruffles and then this is the setup of when you print it this is how they show you to tape it together i already have mine taped except the ruffle i'll show you how i tape it pretty much when you print it this is exactly how the paper is going to look it's going to have a number one and then you know and then two, three, four, and that's how you're gonna set up the papers and then tape them together. I mean, if you've followed before, um, you should know what that, how that goes. And then it just, it, it comes with a lot of instructions. If you're new, like beginner, then it's gonna take you a long time. And I would definitely read through all of this because you need, you learn new stuff. Um, I didn't have to read through all of it because I already kind of like, you know, with the pictures, I already know, you know, it's not my first time making something like this. So I already know just by looking at a picture what I have to do and, you know, so let me just go straight to it. I cut everything and then I cut along the line that's meant for 18 months. Then I'm going to tape this with this. And then I'm going to tape this with this. Just 
like that and then tape it and then it says right here you'll put the fabric right here the fold and then you have one long piece of ruffles so cut to a fold mirror image so when it says mirror image you have to um turn the fabric one on the pretty side and one on the wrong side if i'm not mistaking and it already says right here that the seam allowance is included so you don't have when you're cutting you don't have to leave extra space for the seam it's already included in the pattern so you don't have to worry about that but do pay attention when it says mirror image otherwise you're gonna waste one of the ruffles if you cut both of them on the same side and i'll show you what i mean let me take this Here's the diaper cover it is humongous so that's what i mean that i'm going to take off an inch of each side Mommy, hmm. he did the water balloons in the blue oh yeah i forgot but i know what i'm putting it on it so I'm going to take off an inch of this side and an inch off of this side. And then I'm going to do the same for the front. You don't have to, but I'm going to because uh, it's too big. I'm going to need two, one for each sleeve. So, okay, see how I folded the fabric this way? So I'm going to cut one ruffle that way. And then when I cut the second ruffle, I'm going to fold it this way. And then cut the other ruffle. That way one sits on one and the other one sits on the other shoulder, if that makes any sense. I think that's how you do it. I, I can't remember, but I think that's how you do it. We'll find out if I do it wrong. Okay, one more time. I don't know how many times I've tried recording this already. So I cut everything out. It's a lot of pieces, but um, really quick. This is the bodice. You're gonna need one of your main fabric and one lining. I did both the same color, so it could have some, you know. See, like this one, I use the same fabric all around. So this is gonna be this part right here. So I want it to be one solid color, and then everything else will have the donut print. So that's the bodice and the lining. And it tells you right here, you will need one main and one lining. Mm, this is the straps so you will need two which are these right here and then one two three ruffles which will go in the back and for these these do not come printed like everything else you have to refer back to the instructions for the measurements and then what is this this is the back bodice. You need one of the main fabric and one of the lining fabric. That part is this part right here where the elastic will go. And then that is the snap panel. So this part right here where you, you know, change the baby's diaper. And then those two little pieces right there are going to be these pieces right here. The little loops so you can tie the straps and then the ruffles which on this one I didn't do but I am gonna do it on this one and the ruffles would just go along the the straps and I'm doing double ruffles so that's why I cut out four so two ruffles on one side and two ruffles on the other side you can do just one but I'm doing two just to, you know, mix the colors and then the diaper cover. One for the front, one for the back. 
I have my PE 800 because I'm going to embroider on the bodice. I think I'm just going to do um, the word one. I don't, I, I can't think of anything else. So I already did that over there. See, that's what I'm going to put on it. And I think that is it that we need. So I'm going to embroider on that and then I will put it all together. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long. So I will need one of these to embroider out. And then after embroidering that out, the next step would be um, constructing the bodice with the straps. So. straps and the ruffles so we have to press the ruffles that go on the sleeve and then we have to seal the edges either with a serger or you can fold this inward like this you know what I mean fold it and then fold it again and then sew it along so that you don't have no raw edges on all the ruffles. a gathering stitch so these are both the ruffles and if you didn't understand the previous clip I took a, off um, half an inch off of this one so this one can so you can see this one overlapping obviously and but first I'm going to stitch this the part where we folded so it doesn't come undone and then after I do both, I'm going to place one on top of the other. And then I'm going to do a gathering stitch, which is a very loose stitch so we can gather the ruffle together. Um, but first, let's finish this part right here. And I think I'm going to... What's my tension? My tension's at 2.5 and the stitch, no, my tension's at 3 and the stitch length is at 2.5.
perfect so far. I've had to stop several times. I'm lucky if I can get a few words in without anybody interrupting, so. Sorry. Uh, here's the front. Here's the back. I still have to put some elastic on here and then attach the diaper cover with the ruffles. So, this is what it looks like so far. But the back is gonna look so cute. These come crisscross. Like that, like that, and the baby's back, and then these straps go inside the loops. 